Uh, so hi, um, I'm, my name is Brenda Lopez. I did a, a film that's a stop motion, sand animation and 2D. Uh, it's called Abeo and it's the story it's about two uh, immigrant women who are crossing a desert to go from the, to cross the border between Mexico and the US. So. Well, it's a tough topic. It oh. is, uh, yeah, it is uh, very topical. And I, I started working on the, the idea um, over a year and a half ago now, mm -hmm. when I felt that it was more of my, my, my reaction to uh, being from Mexico, living in Canada, feel like, you know. So you jump the, the two walls. <laughs> very, like a lot of duality and seeing how uh, I, I experience politics in very different ways in my uh, Canadian way and my Mexican way and seeing like I have a family in Mexico and in Canada and all of that uh, so it was more my reaction to what was happening in, in, in the US politics and everything and it's it's sad to me that it's my film is becoming more and more relevant because obviously I couldn't have anticipated uh, the horrible things that keep happening and are getting worse in the US at the moment yeah <laughs> uh, and uh, so it is my first time at a stop, stop trick and it is my first time here in Slovenia, Maribor. Uh, and I'm really happy with the being selected. And I also think that the, this festival really, I'm enjoying it, uh, not only as a, a film festival, but also it, the, the the values that stop trick has, holds, uh, that I, that hearing Olga talk about it uh, and seeing how much, like, not only again uh, seeing uh, films that are really good technically and everything but the the festival itself the mission and what they stand for very much aligns with me so I'm super happy to be here I'm curious like uh, if, if the politics didn't influence you that much what do you think what kind of movies would you be making today hmm that's a good question I am um, uh, I think I would be uh, if it wasn't this it would probably be a silly movie because I think <laughs> I am a silly person <laughs> and when people uh, tend to after they watch my movie they get very they're confused as to like why the film doesn't feel like it's me but obviously it's uh, complex beings we can have different parts uh, but I would definitely like to my next personal project I would like it to be much more uh, on the comedy side uh, doesn't mean that it can't uh, be political or say something but I would like it to be more lighthearted than, than than this one. Okay, so how do you get overall in the uh, I don't know film, cinema, comedy? <laughs> how how do I? Yeah, yeah. What are your um, earliest memories of of it? Uh, for, from cinema, uh, being well, cartoons a lot, right? In 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 Mexico, and uh, uh, so the Pink Panther. Uh, I remember watching that. <laughs> Uh, I remember watching the Flingsto Flingstones and all of that. Uh, those the those were like the golden years for me as a kid to watch those kind of cartoons, and. Uh, that, that informed a lot uh, my sense of comedy, which then again, it just got reinforced uh, in university when I saw that, oh, those cartoons are borrowing from Charlie Chaplin, from B Buster Keaton, and, and that stuff. Uh, but the film that um, I remember uh, liking the most and really clicking in my head as, oh, this is animation and that's what I can say, uh, and it can be touching and funny and all of these things, uh, is uh, Wally by Pixar. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> which I thought was the, uh, to this day I still think is one of the the weirdest in a sense uh, of the Pixar films because it is not, there's not a lot of dialogue and it's very political uh, and it's, an, uh, it's kind of the oddball of the of Pixar but it's really well made and I find that the, uh, it's not preachy either, it's just this character that you're following and, and it's in the environment that you see that all of these things are happening. So. Yeah, I like that one a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Then thanks for your time. So see you around. See ya, thank you. <laughs>